Whew. Hey, everybody. Uh, it's me, Dale. Hope y'all doing good. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm at the gym right now. And, uh, whew. sorry, I, um, forgive the camera, I'm holding it, not even really on a selfie stick, just kind of holding it on one of those GoPro clamps. Uh, doing my back and bicep workout today, and just, uh, take a little break. I don't normally take breaks in my workouts, um, except for, if I do, it's later in the workout. And like right now, I'm about to, um, do some modified deadlifts on the Smith machine. It really comes out to more like being like rack pulls. But um, I, um, so far in the workout today, I've done, well, the way I do my back and bicep workout is, I'll start out with a couple of back exercises, then I'll do a bicep exercise, then two more back exercises, then another bicep exercise, uh, and so on. And so right now I've done the, you know, wide arm lat pull downs, and then I did the reverse cable crossovers. And then I just came on over here and did your standard alternating, you know, standing alternating curls. Um, then I did some, uh, where you lay down on the bench, uh, pullovers, pull the dumbbell over your head, you know, works up the back there. And then I did that with, uh, then after that, I followed up with some uh, dumbbell rows. And I did them both hands at the same time, leaned against a um, inclined bench, which I videoed several of the things that I've done today. So I'll try to include a couple clips at the end of the video. Uh, then after I did the rows, I hopped over and did some hammer curls. And uh, so now I'm just, you know, I'm got a pretty good sheen going. Also got some fur going. I need to shave this. But, um, sorry for the ramble. <clears throat> but, um, so next I'm going to get over here and get on this Smith machine. Um, up there. And, um, this last week was the first week I worked out in a month. Um, the last time I did the rack pulls on the Smith machine, I was able to pull 315 pounds. Uh, then two days later, come down with a flu or pneumonia or something. I was sick for weeks. Um, and then nurse, still, I'm always nursing an injury or two, just everything's so beat up. Um, that I never really healed with all this weight carrying around on it. <clears throat> and that's one of my biggest challenges about exercising is, um, you know, just so much, I've destroyed my joints carrying all this weight. You know, I was, you know, I love you, those of you who've watched along, you know, one time I was over 700 pounds, uh, you know, so, you know, 200 pounds gone and I'm still putting, you know, two and a half times as much weight on the joints as what they're intended to. But, um, which leads to the reason I do my deadlifts in the um, Smith machine. I can't do them regular because of my hip. Uh, a lot of you know I've got a hip, but my right hip's completely shot, needs replacing, but I can't replace it because I'm too fat. Uh, so I modify the best I can on that. Um, my goal is, you know, when I get that hip replaced, to be able to do deadlifts regular and um, to not be weak. So, you know, I figure if I can get up to six, seven hundred pounds on the Smith machine, I'll be able to pull, you know, four or five hundred pounds on a deadlift. I don't know, maybe I'm being unreasonable. Um, and it's not really that relevant to my overall weight loss goals. It's just something, you know, I, I like lifting heavy things. Um, but since I haven't done this in over a month, because last week I didn't do it, because I took last week to kind of just a couple easy workouts to ease back in, because the last time I got sick or hurt, took a month off, I went right back in full blown and really injured myself. So today, you know, or last week was a little easy. Today, I've probably doubled the intensity. Um, hence the reason for the break. Like I said, I don't normally take breaks in my workouts. It's, you know, I don't, I take about 10 seconds between each set. And then I take as long as it takes to go from one station to the next between the actual, when I switch exercises. But, you know, I need to get my stuff out of my bag. Because when I hit, when I lift over heavy, I've still got a, broke bone in this wrist that's never completely healed. It's a little fracture in there. So whenever I get over a couple hundred pounds, I always wrap up my wrist. Um, and then, you know, if I get over like 225, 250, I put on, I don't like wearing lifting gloves, but 
I can do a little better if I have them because it's not eating up my hand. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get over there and I'm gonna start with just pull the empty bar a few times and throw a plate on each side and pull it a few times. Then go ahead and um, bump it up to 225, pull that five or six times and then add 50 and see how that feels. And uh, I'll try to get some of that on the um, video. Um, as always, I appreciate y'all watching in and uh, I'll get back to y'all in a little bit. All right, I'm back. So I uh, finished that workout. Uh, I'm in the truck now, sitting outside the gym, just um, sitting here a minute because, good Lord, that last set of uh, Smith Machine rack pulls, that hit me. And I still did um, five sets on the rowing machine after I did those. But... Um, I believe I pushed it up to, I had four plates and a 10 on each side, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I've lost my breath a little bit, lost my voice, I mean, but um, four plates and a 10 on each side, so I think that's 335, still not where I want to be, but um, I was able to pull it a couple times, um, that last pull it did, it, it, it pained my hip, so the rest of the day is going to be, uh, well, i got some work to do, but uh, it's going to be Make sure I stay hydrated, get some protein in, and um, take it easy the rest of the day. You know, stretch, get on some heat, and put the tangent unit on my hip. Um, I hate and love doing these videos where I show my full body working out. You know, I mean, I've talked about this to some of y'all that, you know, I hate the way I look, hate being so fat. You know, and some of these, especially back shots, oh my God, I hate seeing back fat rolls on my back. <clears throat> but that's just part of it. You know, I'm trying to be transparent as I can. Um, you know, I've not made near as much progress as I'd hoped I would when I first started this journey. And, you know, a lot of that's um, me needing to get real with myself and uh, adjusting some things mentally. And uh, I feel like I'm finally getting on a better track that, you know, mentally. Uh, I'm doing way better on the nutrition. Of course, the exercise, you know, that's just as much as my body, I do as much as I physically can there. Um, and it's just staying the path. Um, but so, you know, but yes, yeah, so I still did them. I still had some of these showing all the ugly fat rolls and, you know, stuff that I hate, but I put it out there. Um, trying to think what else to say today. No, that's pretty much it. Um, so I just hadn't done a video in a while. I wanted to check in, throw something up. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not more, um, more active. Um, it's really difficult because I don't have a gym partner because of where, you know, where I go, everybody I know that would want to work out either can't do it the same hours or, um, you know, they're too far away to work at my gym, but I've been talking to a couple of buddies. And so I'm going to try it a lot once a week, uh, go into uh, the next town over and work out with one buddy of mine. And then I got another friend. She's going to try to play cameraman or camera lady for me some too, so I can get some more content, get some more stuff out there. The more I do, the more accountable I am to myself. I think, you know, that helps me putting it out there. Because I know y'all gonna be watching and y'all gonna be like, well, no fatty hadn't changed. And so I kind of, you know, that kind of helps me stay on track. But anyway, um, appreciate y'all watching today. Hope y'all doing great. Love all y'all. Roll Tide.